The University of Kentucky, with support from the National Science Foundation's Emerging Frontiers in Research and Innovation, has undertaken the challenge of producing hydrocarbons from biomass for the purpose of the production of liquid fuels from lignin. Here is Seth DeBolt, Associate Professor in the UK College of Agriculture, and Sam Morton, Senior Researcher at UK's Center for Applied Energy Research. There's a great deal of national and international focus on biofuels. These are fuels, liquid fuels, produced from non-edible plants. Crops such as switchgrass, miscanthus, or wood chips are the, are the main crops in the United States. The current focus has been on carbohydrate chemistry and the production of alcohol fuels from cellulose or sugars. It's considered these efforts will rapidly become unsustainable if we cannot determine a way to use the second most abundant component, the most abundant non-edible component of plants, which is lignin. The challenge has always been conversion and scale. In order to make conversion easier, we have formed a project that centres around a collaboration between plant scientists, chemists and chemical engineers. We are also focusing on utilising genetics to identify crops with ideal lignin that has a structure more amenable to deconstruction. So while in principle it may sound simple to uh, release the lignin from biomass, we've actually found uh, a great many challenges that need to be answered. So we are working on a broad range of strategies focused on understanding the biomass from a genetics point of view, developing rational analytical strategies so that we can learn more about the biomass before and after we process it, and strategies that allow us to liberate the lignin material from the biomass while not destroying the rest of the biomass so that it can be used in other processes.